4-2 defeat at home to Harabara. Your initial thoughts straight after the match? Um, uncharacteristic really from, from what we've set out, what we've started doing already this season. Um, lots of individual errors, look leggy, look tired, lethargic, second to pretty much every 50-50. Um, I think we got what we deserve really. We were, we were in the game at times and, 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 and we, we posed a little bit of a threat but defensively we, cost, we gave away too many sloppy goals, individual goals and uh, you can't concede the ball and, and get a result I don't think. So it's one of those games where they scored three goals and actually all our players had the last touch. Yeah, and that's why I said that's what I mean by individual errors. And and leading up to the actual goals that they scored, there was there was incidents in there where we should have done better and dealt with it better. Um, collectively, individually, we just weren't good enough today. And, and maybe it was just one game too far. And we looked we looked out of shape. We looked lethargic today. And and we we did go to Taunton, although it's not an excuse for you, I know. But travelling all the way there. Coming back, playing today. It was, a, it was a long day. It was a long day, and that's, I was really conscious of that. And I could have made a few changes today, but we sat down and, and thought the boys did well. And, and to be fair, on the way on the, on the way back on the coach, they were still quite lively. Um, assistant uh, Boise said yesterday that he was really tired himself, and, and maybe maybe we could have freshened it up a little bit more today. But we wanted to go with it, and whether that is partly to do with it, I mean, it's not ideal that we get a 16-hour trip. On a, on a Saturday before a bank holiday Monday and, and it's just the way it worked out for the league so we can't look for the excuses but we did put a hell of a lot of energy into Saturday today looked like we, we had that journey and that sort of 90 minutes in our legs and, and we weren't fresh in our mind and, and we got caught out today and fair play to Harrow you know they, they worked hard they, they scored a couple of good goals but a lot of them the majority of them we, sh we should have done better with I'm disappointed So if we look just generally overall the first part of the season up to Today, if we take today's game out, which which was totally different to the other performances, your initial assessment so far? Yeah, I mean, as I said to the boys, uh, hopefully that's a blip today. If that's a blip and we go to Swindon and put it right on Saturday, then then fair enough. We, we can we can use that, that game today as a marker, but if you lose a game of football, you learn a hell of a lot more than you do when you win. And, and I've learned about certain individuals out there, and, and, and I'm still trying to get the right balance and the right system and the right players and personnel in, in the way we want to play. We never, we never looked comfortable today, and it wasn't until we were... I would say out of the game, that we, we sort of took the shackles off and got the ball down and started playing. Too many players were, 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 looked like they were scared to receive the ball and we weren't getting into areas. Their system was, was, was affecting our system and we didn't get our full backs high enough and, and get, the, get the ball to them because that's where the space was. Until we were out of the game. Once we were out of the game, the boys sort of took the shackles off and, and then they started passing the ball around and we kept much better possession, as, as I'm sure you, you probably saw and, and the fans probably saw. Too many times today we were second best to 50 50s and look, we got what we deserve. If it's a blip, it's a blip. If it's not and we go into the same thing on Saturday and we're lethargic, then I'll have to start seriously looking and thinking, have I got the right personnel? But we've got what we've got at the minute and I've been really pleased with them. So it's been tough. A tough Monday, bank holiday Monday. The weekend we could have had three points out of it. We've got one, and that's not good enough return for what I want to do down here and where I want to be. So we we'll need to uh, book our ideas up for Saturday. And lastly, Jimmy, there were two incidents that both could have been red cards. Both were red cards. I think it's retaliation on both sides. Um, I don't think Marv does what he does if the lad rightly gets the red card. Cole's in there in a minute. I'm, I'm not sure how long he's going to be out for. Look, I don't want people to be sent off, but the referee's got to be a little bit, a bit stronger there. And you look back on the video, and it, it wasn't it wasn't horrific, it wasn't horrible, but there was ex excessive force there, and Cole had run the ball quite clearly, and, and he should have rightly got the red card, in my opinion. Marv's obviously gone and done a bit of retribution there, and, and, and maybe he should have been a red as well, but he's never going to give a red when he's going to give a yellow for the first one. So, yeah, look, this, these things happen in football. I, I, I think they got a soft penalty on Saturday against us, which went against us. Today, I'm not going to use the referee as, a, as an excuse. We, we weren't good enough collectively, uh, including myself. And, uh, and we have to look at it Thursday night and, and hopefully put it right on Saturday. Thank you so much, Jimmy. No problem. Thank you.